Hey guys, this is Katie Messy Soper at Royal Appleberry, and today I am doing a soap, but it's going to be a little bit different because I normally don't use uh, essential oils, but I was contacted by this wonderful company, which is called Pure Body Naturals, uh, and they sent they asked me what I like to do a review on their essential oils, and I said sure. So um, I was going to just give like a quick cameo in another video but so you know what I'm gonna make soap anyway so I'm just gonna go ahead and make some essential oil soap um, essential oil soap <laughs> some soap out of their essential oils now what I do like about this company I mean look at the packaging it comes nicely wrapped uh, it's sh uh, shrink wrap first so I kind of um, score the edge of this and with these gloves on I cannot get it out <laughs> but um, it comes really really nicely wrapped and it actually comes inside a bubble a bubble bag here and then it's wrapped in shrink and then it's this really nice case that the essential oils are in so let's go ahead and pluck that open and um, they do have some really good prices right now they have a sale um, this originally sells for retails for $49.95 and right now they have a sale going on. You can get all six of these top uh, essential oils for $11.95. So, I mean, seriously, if you do natural soaps, get your buns over there and get some. Uh, I am trying to get this open, but <laughs> with these gloves on, I can't seem to do that. So give me a sec to open this and I'll be right back. Okay, so I was able to get the lid off. Um... And it's, it's a very nice sturdy box to store your essential oils in. Inside of this case, you get sweet orange, lemongrass, peppermint, tea tree, lavender, and eucalyptus. Those are really, really nice. And each bottle is 10, 10 milliliters or 0 0.33 fluid ounces. And um, these are just really cool. I really, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with the packaging of this company. So that just lets you know that you're getting a quality product just based on the packaging. Because I mean, who would spend that kind of money on packaging and time on packaging and give you crap products? And these are 100% pure essential oils. And I decided that I am going to go ahead and I know a lot of you know that I am allergic to orange. <laughs> oranges but I am just so drawn to the sweet orange so I'm going to do sweet orange and lemongrass and that's why I have gloves on just doing this right now I can make it but I just can't handle it with bare hands so I'm going to do these two together in a blend and I think it's going to come out really really nice so uh let me get things prepared and I will be right back guys all right guys I'm back and I have my uh lye mixed in so I'm going to go ahead and separate these off and I decided, oh, they also sent me two um, and I had plans to give one away, but I realized in order to make my soap, I would need to use both uh, sets of the lemon, the orange, um, the lemon and the orange in order for my soap to actually smell like something, but uh, that's fine. It's absolutely fine. But um, so now I decided to go with some neon orange here and some yellow and I know you guys probably noticed like the reflection of this ring here <laughs> I have a new ring light so I just wanted my lighting to be as best as possible so that's why the lighting looks different Oop, I almost spilled that you guys just saw everything with my new lighting <laughs> so I'm going to make this um, even parts I think yeah. And also guys, I have something um pretty fun coming up. I was going to post the video today. I'm not going to tell you guys what it is, but um actually, I'm going to post today is Sunday. I'm going to post this video tomorrow. And um yeah, I'll maybe after I get off work when I post the cutting video, I'll tell you guys about it. So stay tuned. Be sure to watch that. Um, this video should actually, I was going to say tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, I can post this tomorrow. So I'm going to do that. But anyway, um, so now let's see. Yeah, I'm going to leave the rest white. And let me get my TD. Mm, maybe I want just a wee bit more. Do I? No, I don't. Okay. <laughs> Can't make up my mind yet. <laughs> I'll go ahead and pour my TD in there. And uh, I decided to name this soap um, 
hello sunshine and the reason why because i mean it's citrus and it's just so brightly colored and i think that it's just a great way to wake up in the morning smelling some a nice burst of lemongrass and a nice burst of um uh sweet orange so this is called hello sunshine i think it kind of puts you in a good mood normally i don't do all this stuff on camera and i don't know why i decided to come back and do it on camera <laughs> but it's cool um this gives me a chance to talk a little bit more about the company so like i said these uh essential oils are on sale and they have you can get the really big bottles as well too and they got great sales prices on those too so i will be sure to put all their information in this section below again uh this company is called pure body natural so um, for those of you who most definitely do all natural line, go check them out. And for those of you who don't, uh, and you want to just add some, uh, essential oil soaps into your, uh, line, then go check them out as well. Is that some silk? <laughs> Oops, and I stuck my spatula in here. Darn it. But anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and mix this up quickly. And then I'll pour in my essential oils. I've not made an essential oil soap in so long. So it was when they asked me to do this, I'm like, you know what? Yeah, I most definitely will because I've not had an essential oil soap in a very, very, very long time. Okay, yeah, I think I was going to make that a little bit wider, but I think that's good enough. And then we're going to go to the yellow. Oh, it's just so sunny. <laughs> I really do like this. And I'm digging, I, guys, even though I am allergic to oranges, I love oranges, but I just can't eat them. <laughs> so sad. But I was just drawn to, uh, why is my stick blender stuck? <laughs> um, I was just drawn to the, um, the sweet orange because it smells so good. <laughs> so I most definitely had to do that. Because I was going to do lavender, but eh, you guys know me and lavender. <laughs> We're not the best friends. But um, I think this is going to be really fun. And then, I mean, I got like, a, I just did my potions and antidotes. And I don't want to keep throwing so many purple soaps out there. I just doomed, okay? But I will be using them for sure. So, all right, now we got these colors blended in. Now we're going to go ahead and pour our essential oil in. And off my spatula and then we go here first and they're next and they're next i mean it is very citrusy and i guess for me because i guess i'm not normally not a citrus person but this is just so it puts you in a good darn mood because <laughs> it smells so refreshing it is extremely refreshing so i think that's why i'm just like you know i'm cool with this man absolutely so I might even um, go and get myself a big bottle of the uh, uh, sweet orange and the lemongrass just because it does smell delicious. I do like it. Okay. So guys, I'm not going to bore you to death with the stirring, so I'll be back. Hey right, guys, so now everything's mixed in and we are good to go. So I'm going to pour a bit of a white base um, inside the mold, Kenny. Yeah, I actually could have made this a wee bit um, wider, but it's fine because it's more cream than what I think. So now I'm going to do start low so I can just get my aim right. Oh gosh, I'm pouring a lot of orange in there. So <laughs> I don't know how I keep pouring so much orange. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> so um, next I'm going to pour some yellow. And then I'm going to start low and take my time. I think that's actually going to be really cool. And I'm going to go up higher as I pour. Now this is going to be a very fun soap, very festive. So I think um, I'm going to be very happy with the way this looks. Then I'm going to pour some more white, but I'm going to turn it around just because I feel like it. Give it a little bit of smack down just because... I do have some crazy ear bubbles in that beastie. Move that out a little bit. Make sure you guys can still see just because I don't need to pour this on my camera. But, um, yeah, I think this is going to be just delightful, y'all. Absolutely. 
and it smells really nice for me not to be a citrus person it does smell really really nice yeah I do like that a lot so I actually should have made a little bit well too late now I should have could have <laughs> but I wish I had uh, made less orange because the orange to me I think could have been like a an accent color and not so dominant in this soap but it's fine it is absolutely fine okay I'm gonna pour this from a pie I'm make sure I go from side to side because I don't want um, the, the same pour that it did in antidote for those of you who watched that video I don't want my swirls to come out looking like that so just kind of do a little bit of a different pour oh yeah I need a lot of orange geez Louisa what was I thinking so I'm going to um, have some left over of course just because I never measure out my oils to fit in this mold and this was kind of a last minute decision to use this mold so I was just going to do a regular mold but I did not so um it'll be fine yeah I really should have made more uh white than orange but what can you do about it now besides nothing okay so stop your complaining Kenny it's not going to get you anywhere and I am in the midst of cooking as well because it is after 7 p.m. and I have not had dinner. Shame, shame. But I am cooking some uh, glazed salmon. Well, baking some glazed salmon. I think it's going to be gosh darn delicious. I do like salmon, y'all. I do. Oh, okay. <laughs> Put that back in there. And uh, let me go check on my food. And I'll be right back. Because uh, we don't want my food to burn up. Be right back. Alright guys. guys, I'm back. My fish is fine. <laughs> Just had to go check because that would be a terrible thing if uh, it burned up. So, I've just been a busy bee. I've been master batching and all that fun stuff. And tidying up and cutting soap samples. Um, just a lot. A whole lot, guys. So, um, I slept in late because my mom and I, my mom, that's like my homegirl. So, We'll get into these things where I think we started talking at 11 o'clock uh, Saturday night and we didn't get off the phone until 5 o'clock Sunday morning. <laughs> and people are like, oh my God, how can you talk so long? Like, that's, she's the only one that I talk on the phone like that with because that's, that's my mom, guys. I, I can't, that's my mom. That's the best I can say. So, um, I slept until noon and then got up and got started with all of this stuff that I had to do. So... I think what am I gonna do here this really needs to set up because it's like super super duper liquidy but um I think I'm going to yeah even if I pour it low it's still breaking through so yeah guys this is gonna have to set up for a while before I can do anything else and I'll be back I know this is a lot of breaks but <laughs> Um, I can go ahead and take care of my food and then come back and play around with this but I think I'm gonna like those colors so yeah but you know what I just thought about something oh no I was gonna say it reminds me a lot of my Georgia peaches but uh, this doesn't have green in it so thank goodness but I think this is gonna be more orange than white and I hope that the white actually is more overpowering but it's not looking that way so I will be back guys I will be back all right guys I'm back um the the white and the yellow did thicken up a little bit but my orange did not so ooh, wow so I'm just gonna go ahead I mix in here um just a little bit that was left I'm gonna go ahead and drizzle this on top and it is still breaking through <laughs> um it's nice to have a you know really loose recipe but when you're trying to create a certain something and it keeps falling through that's not fun so this top is probably going to be just pretty low I know this looks crazy because I'm just pouring it wherever but that's fine I will clean it all up and I did save some yellow and orange um, so I will pour that on top just to add a little bit more color I'm glad I did decide to do it that way yeah I think this is gonna be really pretty 
Very, very pretty. So I'm excited about that. For sure. So it is kind of holding on a little bit. It's not sinking through as much as I thought it would because I kind of gave the mold a jiggle and the top didn't move too much. So I was like, okay, good, we're ready, but it's still a bit running. All right, so just a little bit more, I think, over here should suffice. And then I'm going to go ahead and pull this back into the mold. Probably should just go that way. Yeah, makes life easier. Mm hmm. this side too oops man it's just like some fragrances I want my um, oils to just be a very very thin trace and then <laughs> they don't and then sometimes like now I would like for this to thicken up and it will not because it's been probably 15 minutes and it still won't but oh well no complaints here so um if it ends up being like a lower top bar then that's fine because everything can't be super high Nope, cannot. So this extra is going to go in my little mini loaf mold. And that was really dumb. I always do that. <laughs> I'll clean up the sides and then <laughs> make another mess on it. <laughs> oh, kitty, kitty, kitty. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder about you, love. <laughs> okay, so let's use the little dregs of yellow that we have left. And I mean, it's very little. So... Yeah, most definitely go check out this company um, especially while they have that sale going on I don't know how long the sale is gonna last but you should most definitely go over it because I mean essential oils are expensive I mean that I know for a fact they are very expensive and I'm sure those of you who make soaps with essential oil know that too so go over there and snatch you up some while it's on sale because they do have some grand old prices and they do have other stuff um, force that you can use for soap making so just be sure to check them out and um i want to thank um pure body naturals for contacting me and asking me to review their products i really appreciate it um because it is like hard yeah i really appreciate it that was really really nice of you all and then they their shipping is like crazy fast <laughs> <laughs> because I got the email and then I went and um, said yeah I would do the review and then it was just like a few days later it was in my mailbox I'm like well man that was pretty fast so thank you all again greatly greatly appreciated it all right so let me grab my skewer and then see what we can do because this is so soft oh that is very very soft and you guys know off camera I'm gonna muck with this you know that right <laughs> Especially when it thickens up some more, I'm going, I do plan to, uh, mess with it. Ooh, what, what am I dropping? Um, um, I do plan to mess with it some more. So, actually, since it is so fluid, I will just go ahead and do that. I'm not going too far into the soap because I don't want to disturb the bottom. And then I will do this. And top, yeah, this is definitely going to be a flat top, but it is very colorful and very cheery. So happy about that, and it does smell delightful. Oh, I just wish that it was just a little bit thicker, that would have been grand. But what can you do? Complaining is not going to set it up at all. So, stop with the complaints, Kenny. Stop it. I'll just kind of drag around, drag around, and keep going around. And it's like I'm making a mess. <laughs> but yeah, that is actually really pretty, though. I do like the way that top looks. I'm probably just going to um, uh, clean the sides and put it back into my little uh, mini mold because yeah I don't want to mess up the swirl that I just did that would be just dumb so yeah I'll do that and then of course I'm going to add some glitter because glitter is love sure is you guys know how I feel about my glitter so just pop that over there and scrape that right off the side just like that yeah just like that all right so I need to turn this around so I can do it to the other side 
And tell me guys if you see a difference in my lighting. Is my lighting better? Is it too bright? Let me know what you think. Because I've been wanting this. Oh, and uh, this is a big fat shout out to my mumsy. Because she got this for my birthday. Yay. Thank you, mommy. I am like so grateful. Because I have been planning to buy one for quite some time. And she called me and asked me did I still want one. I'm like, oh yeah, let me go order that. She's like, no, I'm planning on getting you that for your birthday. I'm like, oh, sweet man. So, thank you, mumsy. Greatly appreciate it. What a wonderful birthday gift. From a wonderful mother. Because she is awesome sauce. Most definitely. I would share her, but sorry guys, I can't. She's my mommy, and I don't want to share her. Because <laughs> she's always doing awesome stuff for me. Alright, yeah, I mucked around enough with this. So now I'm just going to clean it up, slap some glitter on it, and pour the rest in my little mini mold. And that will be it. That will be all. There we go. Yeah, that's really gorgeous. It just, it, it seems like that it is like perfect for a morning shower. I mean, most people do shower. Not most people. I don't know what people do. But I am one of those people who shower early in the morning. I cannot wake up unless I shower in the morning. So I think this would be a great way to start off your morning with a little citrus essential oils. All right. So that's enough of that. So let me grab my glitter. Um, I'm going to use yellow and orange, and I think I do have some, hmm, let's try this. I wonder if this is the wrong color. Yeah, I think that's not the right color. I was going to use that one here, but I think that is not the color that is going to work with this. So, let's go with, um, sorry guys, <laughs> I should have had all this ready, but I don't. So I think, oh, okay. I'm going to use this Fably Ably Yellow, this Lemon Zest by Rustic Essentials. And I thought I had a cool orange. I do, right there. Look at that in that gorge, guys. Mm-hmm, gorge. So I'm going to use that one too. Let's see, do I have a little spoon over here for my glitters? I do. I think this is going to look fabulous. Absolutely. Oh, that's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I put too much, but that's still gorgeous. <laughs> I want to cover up my design because that was a lot of glitter I just put there. Okay, that's enough of that. And then I'll take the yellow and put it um, around the corners, the ends, the edges. <laughs> put it on the edges instead of in the middle. Okay, now if I could just get it open, that would be grand. Alright, so I'll just sprinkle this from up high. Oh lord, my feet are hurting you Absolutely. Because like I said, I had a bunch of master batching because I had started master batching uh, last week, but I didn't have enough oils. So I had to wait until I went and got some. And I just finished up today, so I did enough for 10 batches. And now, um, been standing all day. So my feet are not happy with me. No, they are not. Alright guys, so this is my good morning sunshine. I think that's what I called it. <laughs> um, and it is divine. I do love the way it smells. I love how cheery it is. And I think, once again, I thank Pure Body Naturals for sending me these essential oils to make this soap with. You guys are awesome sauce, most definitely. Be sure to go and check them out. I will leave all their information in the section below. So you can just click the link and head right over there. So let me pick that up and show you up close. So there you have it. Very, very pretty. This is crazy. I've not done a flat top in a long time. And, um... Oh, I was going to go ahead and pour this in the mold, but yeah, I won't bore you with that. But for those of you who are just joining my channel, hello. I am so glad that you were here. I appreciate you stopping by. And if you watched this far, why not go ahead and subscribe? That way you can stay up to date on what I am posting and when I am posting videos as I do post new videos weekly. Okay, so that is it, that is it guys. Uh, I can't talk probably because of starvation here. 
<laughs> but that's it for now. Um, be sure to watch the cutting video because there's always a cutting video right after the making video. Um, if you don't know where to find it, you can go to my homepage and find it there because it's normally the next video up. Or you can go to my playlist and you'll find it there. You'll find all of my videos there. So guys, I uh, love hugs and kisses. Always be awesome and amazing at everything that you do. Until next time, I will see you later. Bye.